So I'll I'll start with the user role. Mm -hmm. I'll go to the user manager to create a user. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll create a screen set. Mm -hmm. Assign a manager to the screen set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then assign the screen set to a menu, and then finally assign the menu to the user. Okay. That's it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's another uh, half an hour to you know one hour activity, yeah. by which you will be able to you know see how we can uh, provide security access to the user, you know. So I'll be I'll be talking about a transport planner. Okay, transport planner will be the user role, and uh, what all screens uh, that particular user ha should have access to. We'll be talking on that. Okay. Sure. Okay. So a transport planner will have you know access to uh, shipment visibility. And uh, what you say, uh, and the order visibility, right? So we'll be talking about order and shipment from the transport planning point of view. Okay. So I, I'll just you know uh, the first thing, the foremost thing which we'll be going to start with is you know how to create a user role. We need to go to configuration administration. Okay. Mm -hmm. We go to the user role. Mm -hmm. We are going to create a new user. Okay, mm -hmm. role, role. Okay, right. I give it as name as a transport planner. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give the level as default. I mean, uh, admin, uh, admin, I cannot give him. I'll give it as default because it will have some security restrictions if I give him admin. Okay, okay? and uh, VPD profile is nothing but if you would like to, you know, restrict the uh, Data based on some table sets, you can you know, create a VPD file and assign it to this role. Okay. Here, I will be using it as a default. Okay. And who is the user who is going to give him access? Is the admin. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just the grantor. Okay. And then, uh, what all screens he should have access to, or functionality he should have access to? We are defining it at the access control level. Okay. okay. Let us say I am going to give him access to him, uh, access to him to only mm -hmm. order mm -hmm. order uh, uh, you know view okay granted mm -hmm. and then order uh, you know what you say uh, you need to be very much sure you know while typing it because okay. uh, you know it 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 is case case sensitive okay. So I give it as order update also to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give uh, order actions also to him. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, I give him the shipment related access also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shipment. Okay. Shipment view. Okay. Okay, I'll give him shipment update. I'll not give him event related, uh, you know, functionalities mm -hmm. because that is taken to uh, taken care by the carrier. Okay. Okay. So I'll only give him shipment view, update, and actions. Okay. Okay. I save it. So these are the list of actions. And you know functionality is available for this transport planner uh, role. Okay, mm -hmm. one is you know I'll be giving him default. Okay. So that he has you know access to the login screens and all those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just give him default, and I say to do a finish. So here I have created one, you know, user role. With the name as transport planner. 